Hello, buenos dias, guten tag, bonjour, buongiorno, namaste and sabach al khair, guys. Good day to you, trader. This is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. We're on Sunday, November 22nd, 2020, a lovely date. For numerology lovers, 22-11-2020 might be of great significance. Share markets seem to be stopped, Dow Jones is trying to push to the 30k area. In hope that QE, or in the other words, money pumping into the market will never end. We'll see when it will be over. In today's video I'm going to share with you some ideas about adjusting geometric projections of highs and lows into the future, because a simple rectangle drawing on MT4 chart works on the past perfectly, but it is not so reliable when you drag it into the future. And I will, and I will explain it to you right now. So let's start the rock and roll. In a few of my previous videos, I've shared with you how to use geometric similarities of the market. So you simply draw a rectangle like this one, for example, and then you project it into the future. This is a very straightforward method which might help you to determine future extremes of the market, or in other words, future highs and lows of the swings. I also remind you that there is another better method to forecast the markets based on maths. If you want to know exactly how the swings of the market occurs and when. You don't need to know how to use complicated formulas to calculate these dates, which you can learn on my private online tutorial over the Skype. The details on my private coaching you can find just sending me an inquiry to the email address below this video. So the rectangles or other geometric objects, when you check them backwards, work excellent as you might have seen over here. Probably it shows with quite good uh, precision how the market works. But when you project them into the future, they are not so accurate as I said before. By the way, at the moment I'm on Euro USD chart daily chart and I just quickly show you what I mean by this if you don't know how to do this projection I've shown before you just make another one I press simply uh, control and pressing control I drag this uh, I drag this uh, rectangles further anyway the places where they end up is a line where the market might have a turning point which you see this one works very well and if you drag it further probably it would work in the same way so let's drag another one okay so that's the past as you see as the past it works it shows you bottom it's another bottom here we might even draw another one so that's the method but it works on the previous data so what you might observe yeah so it's another bottom so you, what you might observe it works very well when you do it in this way but for example if you want to project this one let's draw another one let's get rid of this all this uh, all this uh, geometric shapes over here all these rectangles for example we got over here Let's say we got such a, here we got top and here we got bottom. And we want to know when's going to happen the next one. Okay. So in this way, you just simply get and project it into the future. So it might show you that the next day, here's the first September. And it might show you that the reversal point is 20th of December which actually, in my opinion, it's not true. Why? Because of the properties of MT4, which doesn't show you when you project the date into the future. In the meantime, here you got Sundays and Saturdays somewhere. And if you 
watch backwards you got only mondays to fridays here we haven't got candles of saturdays and sundays so making this projection the reversal point based on this period this cycle will be earlier it might be somewhere here on 16th or 15th whatever so that's the reason how it works obviously you can work it out even in a better way to find your cycles let me show you by simple math you can do it straight away and you can get it very very precisely so at this previous example over here which has been drawn in the past i've shown my other videos we've got a first impulse of the market which starts here from this candle and let me draw the rectangle here okay it starts over here and goes up to here this is the first impulse and then we presume if the market behaves harmonically this impulse will repeat over and over and will show us for a certain amount of time will show us tops potential tops and bottoms of the swings those small swings of few days which you can see over here so projecting this geometrically we might have this error related to saturdays and sundays but we can do it easier way so let me show we got over here we got the bottom which is on 14th of may 2020 and we got the top which is on 10th of june 2020 i prepared already here a simple excel sheet which shows 10th of june this is the top let me write it this is a top my friend and here we got the bottom and we can project it into the future using excel what i did over here i it's projection number of projections so this is 27 days by coincidence this is the number of lunar days of synodic sidereal sidereal i think it's side, side the period, 27 and something days very characteristic so anyway so here is the multiplications 27 54 81 108 135 162 and 189 days so i added i added this number to our top because we are talking about all this period so because from here to here we had the first cycle of 27 days they will repeat over and over again one by one let's check what's gonna happen the first one we got 7 of july and 3rd of august let's draw it 7 of july and 3rd of august 7 of july where is it it's somewhere here first 7th of july this one and 3rd of august where is our third here we go 3rd of august this bottom lovely boom we got it very precise next one next two 30th of august and 26th of september 30th of august is my friend over here 30th of sunday so 31st was monday okay so we got this top around 1st of september when the market changed the direction and start going downwards next one was 26th of september 26th of september where is it 28th 5th 6th 8th so it's somewhere here here we got 25th 26th was on saturday my friend so if we got our date calculated falling on saturday usually it happens on friday the day before if it happens on sunday as we had over here on 30th of august we just because sunday the market is closed the next point is monday so that will happen next one let's check it over here 23rd of october which is here where is 23rd which one is there 22nd 23rd of october we got a high over here so very very characteristic we got low high low high and here it will be probably inversion inversion which occurs on 
19th 11 2020 that's the next one let's check it in 19 was here my dear trader friend that was 19 it shows as if the market is going to reverse here the first signal we had on friday which was 20th of november i remind you today is 22nd 2211-2020 lovely date again isn't it so why is that it might happen it might happen because i will tell you why if you look at the any astrolog like astrolog chart or any other software which will show you the occurrences uh, on the sky i'm um, on friday november 20th at the moment at astrolog 650 and we got double ingress which is happening over the weekend look we got the sun which uh, on friday was in scorpio and we've got venus which on friday was still in libra and if i move ahead one day on 21st the sun is getting into the sagittarius and venus just got into uh, just getting into the scorpio so on 22nd we got already ingress so we got ingress over the weekend i think it's it's an additional confirmation of eventual reversal of the market in this point over here somewhere and it seems we'll see what's gonna happen if you did your homework over the weekend you might have uh, reached the same conclusions we will see whether the market really is going to to turn south thank you very much for watching my video i hope we'll meet next time Take care of yourself, happy trading and bye-bye.